is a video presentation of Flashpoint for Biodiesel by Penske Martin's Closed Cup Tester, Analytical Services Method 40. The flash point of a fuel is the lowest temperature at which the vapor of a combustible liquid can be made to flash or ignite momentarily in air while it is heated and stirred at specified rates. The flash point temperature is an important quality and safety assurance measurement that must be considered in assessing the overall flammability hazard of a material. Flash point is also used to detect contamination from low flash point methanol. The flash point method described here is based on this official method. This test method covers the determination of the flash point of biodiesel in the temperature range from 40 to 370 degrees Celsius. Before attempting this technique, it is mandatory to read the test method in its entirety. This presentation is simply an overview or a summary of Flashpoint. The good laboratory practices associated with safety and personal protective equipment represented in this video are simply the safety requirements of the FAPC analytical services. We urge you to determine what specific good laboratory practices and particular safety requirements are necessary for your own method application. Some of the recommended guidelines include follow safety precautions at all times, consult the material safety data sheet for detailed information on the chemical substances related to the method, wear the appropriate personal protective equipment for handling chemicals and instrumentation, Record data at the time of observation. The equipment required to determine flashpoint includes Pinsky Martin Closed Cup Apparatus, automated. The instrument should meet the specifications and requirements of ASTM D93 and should be on a level, steady surface in a draft-free room or area. The FAPC Analytical Services uses a PetroTest Model PMA4 automated flashpoint instrument. It includes the test cup, test cover and shutter, stirring device, heating source, ignition source, and temperature measuring device. A fuel with a flash point similar to the expected flash point of the sample to be analyzed may be used to verify the apparatus is functioning accurately and properly. The solvents needed for cleaning are petroleum ether or toluene and acetone. Protective equipment includes gloves, safety eyewear, and a lab coat or apron. Caution: Flammable parts or substances should not be located close to the ignition source of the flashpoint apparatus. The instrument can also get very hot when in use, especially near the test insert. Do not touch the test insert or the parts close to it without protection. To start the analysis, the sample cup test chamber and all parts that will come into contact with the sample should be completely clean and dry. Turn on the power to the PetroTest PM4 using the switch on the back of the apparatus. The temperature of the sample must be at least 18 degrees Celsius below the expected flashpoint temperature. Ambient temperature is preferable. Fill the flashpoint test cup precisely to the line with the fuel to be tested. Gently lower the filled test cup into the heating block area, lining up the notches on the cup. The silver pin should be toward the front of the cup. Do not touch or bump the igniter. The test cup has three notches that fit around the two screws at the front of the test area and around the shaft at the back. The silver pin should be on the front side of the test cup when properly inserted into the heating block. The flash cup top assembly, which is the lid structure that will open and close while testing, includes the temperature probe and flash detector as a single piece, as well as the stirrer. The stirrer cannot be removed and will remain in place. Carefully place the assembled top of the test chamber on top of the sample cup. The lid portion includes a notch, which will fit securely on the silver pin on the test cup. It cannot be assembled any other way. The probe or detector piece fits into the larger opening with the silver pin aligned with the notch. The controller head is assembled on a swiveling shaft that can be turned from side to side and lowered only where it will fit the flash cup assembly. It includes the electronic igniter, the arm that opens and closes the cup, and an external flash detector. 
It is best to turn the head all the way to the right by gently raising it on the shaft and swiveling it counterclockwise. This will help protect the electronic igniter and other parts from damage when the sample assembly is put in place. Very gently swivel the controller head clockwise until it can be carefully lowered onto the test chamber top. Notice that there are electronic pins that fit into the temperature probe or flash detector piece. Be certain that the open and close arm is properly inserted into the notch on the lid that will cause proper opening and closing of the top of the test cup. All of the parts are extremely delicate and great caution must be observed throughout all assembly steps. The largest number on the display screen is the current temperature of the material in the test cup. Press the return button on the instrument keypad. The cursor will appear in the lower right portion of the screen. This is the area for the expected flash point temperature. Use the up and down arrows to change each of the three digits to the expected flash point temperature. Use the right and left arrows to move between the digits. Most biodiesel should have an expected flash point greater than 120 degrees Celsius. The expected flash point temperature can be increased while the sample is running if necessary. Continue using the right and left arrows to navigate to the other areas of the screen. Just above the expected flash point temperature is the name of the instrument program that is loaded. Once the cursor is on this area, use the up and down arrows until the program User Program 1 is loaded. The program is set to all of the correct method defaults for biodiesel analysis according to the ASTM method. To the left of the expected flash point temperature is the area for the sample ID. Once the cursor is on this area, press the return button on the instrument keypad. Two lines will appear, one for the sample ID and one for the operator name. Use the up and down arrows to change each digit for the appropriate sample ID. Number, letter, and symbols are all options. Use the right arrow to move on to the operator name and change it as described above. Once the entire testing apparatus has been properly assembled and the variables have been entered, press the Run button on the instrument keypad. At the beginning of the run, the instrument will quickly do a mechanical check by opening the cup and pivoting the igniter. It is crucial to observe this step to ensure that everything has been assembled correctly and to prevent potential igniter damage. The test will run automatically in its entirety, although the instrument should be closely observed, primarily for safety reasons. When the test is complete, the flash point temperature will be displayed on the screen as the largest number with the code FPOK on the center left of the screen. Consult the operating manual if an error code or any other code appears on the screen. Record data at this time. No calculations are required for this analysis. If applicable, samples may be analyzed in duplicate or triplicate using a new sample portion each time. Results are reported in degrees Celsius. For data acquisition, troubleshooting, maintenance, and cleaning guidelines, refer to Analytical Services Method 40.